when we compare these two sorry when uh, I compare uh, this plot with the drive uh, mechanisms we can see here the high volume of water uh, influx about uh, more than uh, uh, 30,000 uh, uh, million stock tank barrel as a cumulative at the end of uh, 2010 and that's uh, a high of water influx uh, effect on the reservoir and increase the drive indexes. Hello and welcome everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for your comments and uh, for your comments and emails on our different platforms. I wish the previous course was helped uh, you so much and uh, get more knowledge and uh, improve your skills with Embell Software and also OFM. Uh, our channel will provide more new online courses and uh, I wish uh, can help you so much and uh, spend a great time with us. Today, uh, this is the different lecture. Uh, learning uh, new things. It's called analysis the drive mechanisms. We uh, all know uh, during uh, reservoir modeling course we start practicing with the building reservoir model and uh, we learned how can uh, do that and also uh, analytical and graphical and uh, we get uh, uh, the energy plot in Embell software so to understand what I will do in this lecture. Uh, first, I would like to go to Ombel and uh, review some things here. Uh, after we input uh, our data and uh, we started products with analytical, uh, this is uh, my model here using uh, Vitkovich steady state. Uh, here, I think I uh, improved my model and I hope you do that. So uh, please, if you uh, improve your model, can send us to our email to check it and uh, we will see uh, your result. Uh, here, uh, after improving the model and we get uh, more accurate data and we calculate the original oil in place by graphical, then uh, we see here something, uh, it's energy plot. Uh, this is the, the analysis of energy plot after uh, achieving first step and the second one. Uh, please uh, focus on this uh, point. Uh, this energy plot we, uh, we created here uh, or uh, automatically by O of M uh, after uh, calculating the water influx uh, and uh, estimate the original O and place. So uh, the question right now is how, how the software uh, generate this plot? We need to understand and uh, always uh, I'm uh, and always I talk about this, uh, you have to understand uh, the software, how it works. Uh, just not only uh, use uh, this clicks here and go from one window to another. So the most important uh, question you should ask when you learn any software, uh, why? Why the software need this data? Why need that? how the analytical method works, how the graphical method works, why software need this data, why the software need, for example, porosity here, why software need water compressibility. If we don't have water compressibility, what we can do? And uh, why the software here need the original always? These questions can help you to understand more and more. Okay, uh, so please don't just only uh, watch and uh, just enter the data and uh, you th you think uh, you learn the software no that's not good way to learn you have to practice and understand more by asking more questions why and when and how okay these questions can help you so much to understand uh, more features about the software because uh, also in my course here reservoir modeling course uh, I think uh, many hours uh, maybe you spend uh, to learn Impel software, but let me say that if you just only watch my videos and you think you learn it, that's, that's not a good way to learn. I need you to ask more questions and more questions why the software uh, open your mind to think and uh, that, that's a good way to learn, okay?
because here in my videos I just used the case study uh, I used it before and I just only teach you how to enter this data and maybe I answer some questions but if you don't uh, do that by yourself you cannot learn very well first please when, when you go from one step to another ask always uh, questions so I create this lecture and one of the objective of this lecture is to learn a new thing energy plot what's the mean of energy plot we all know the main, many natural drive mechanisms uh, provided in each reservoir uh, maybe a reservoir have water and flux or not but uh, there is a rock and uh, fluid expansion maybe we can look over view here um, for this drive mechanisms the first drive is rock and uh, liquid expansion and by the way in this lecture i will not explain to you the theoretical of the drive mechanisms rock and fluid expansion this one and what the mean and another no in this uh, in this lecture i will i will make that bracket in practical way all right so we can understand more how this drive mechanism works actually and we will do that by excel sheet so for example a rock and uh, liquid expansion uh, we all know this uh, drive mechanism is more active especially in the reservoir uh, above bubble point that means we have uh, for example if this is uh, maybe can help you uh, we have here greens so when uh, oil filled the pores here when the pressure drop but uh, still the above bubble point the oil uh, have expansion so here we so uh, when the uh, when the reservoir pressure is decreased uh, due to the production and above a point um, the expansion of rocks uh, we can see here this uh, dark brown here that mean after the pressure is dropped the rocks expansion and that expansion of rock and uh, uh, fluid increase the increase the production uh, naturally okay so uh, here in some text box uh, say the recovery factor is up to five all right and that's not fixed number we will see that in our case study uh, i will use it uh, it's the same as the reservoir engineering by the way so you have uh, this uh, data if you don't uh, have this data you can ask uh, by contact our email it will send to you uh, so uh, this number I cannot tell you it's right five always five or it's it depends and depends on the and, and that's what we will learn today uh, how this drive mechanism actually works and when the recovery factor increase and when we, uh, recovery factor decrease uh, these different have different regions and from one from one reservoir to another it's it's not fixed number so uh, that's what the, uh, we will learn and for the second uh, drive mechanism solution gas drive or dissolved gas this depends on the gas um, the main energy available it's gas liberated from the oil when the pressure uh, dropped in the reservoir due to the production the solution gas is expand so this expansion of bubble and the oil it give more uh, production uh, increase the production so uh, and in some text box also said this is recovery is low recovery from 5 to 30 percentage okay uh, as i said before this is, is not fixed number we will see that in our excel sheet and uh, how can uh, apply that and what the parameters what the reservoir parameter that control these drives okay uh, also if the reservoir is below bubble point we have uh, one of the most uh, natural drive its gas uh, cap reservoir uh, that's after the pressure is dropped below bubble point the pressure uh, drop below bubble point uh, gas liberated from the oil so it uh, will be formed uh, at the top because it have different density of gas uh, and this expansion and when the reservoir pressure decrease uh, more and more the gas cap will expand and give more energy okay uh, and this recovery factor it's range between 20 to 20 uh, to 40 percentage and uh, the water drive is one of the natural uh, drivers as uh, maybe in the reservoirs 
uh, divided into uh, different region uh, but uh, here in water drive many reservoirs bounded by uh, water influx maybe uh, will be limited or uh, uh, infinity so uh, if uh, we have strong water influx that means the reservoir pressure will not decrease uh, so fast uh, and that uh, depends on the size of the aquifer and many and uh, properties uh, and many properties we discussed that in a reservoir modeling course and we learned how can we estimate aquifer parameters by Invest software and uh, here is the, the material balance equation uh, actually we understand uh, the material balance equation this is the general uh, form here we need to estimate the original oil place and uh, here we have oil production and gas production and we water influx of the reservoir is the have water influx uh, also we need the water uh, production here each theorem is uh, very important and uh, it comes from production data bvt data and all uh, and actually the reservoir data so uh, this is the general forum uh, and uh, actually in Bell software, all the uh, tools here, all the analytical and the graphical and energy plot come from this equation. For example, the analytical method, uh, it's created from this form and uh, in the graphical method, it's uh, created from uh, after developing the material balance equation by Havelina and Oda, develop material balance as a straight line. This is what we can create it, especially when we have uh, more uh, pressure data we need to generate uh, plots and calculate the original oil place as an average so uh, this is the graphical help us with different methods campbell and others and also the energy plot and that's my lecture for today um, we need to understand how this uh, plot uh, generated here and we will create a new a new one in excel sheet here in this lecture, I will answer uh, this question, how Embell software create this plot. And uh, please, if you're just watching me, please stop and uh, open your Excel sheet and we will start uh, learning together how can we generate this plot uh, like this in Excel sheet. Why I do that? To understand how this energy plot works and these drive mechanisms with any equations uh, as I said it's from material balance but we after we rearrange this equation so um, I hope you open your excel sheet let's see what we have here uh, here what we have uh, an energy plot using excel sheet uh, this is the same data in uh, reservoir modeling course. We have time. Uh, the production start in 1966 at the end of this year. Uh, and the last year to uh, 2010. At the end of 2010. So uh, we have uh, the pressure data. Always uh, the pressure data. It's very important data we need it. Why we need the pressure data? Because it helps us to estimate if we don't, for example, the BVT data, uh, it will be calculated here. So, um, and uh, that's uh, about BVT, oil formation volume factor, and solution gas drive, and uh, gas formation volume factor. These uh, data calculated by, uh, from BVT lab. Uh, and uh, if you have the main data, we, we, we are here in our Excel sheet. This is the main data we have in BVT pressure, oil formation volume factor, and gas oil ratio. So I uh, this is the main uh, data, but here uh, when I need to use the analysis drive mechanism, we need to uh, arrange this data or uh, sorry to calculate the drive mechanisms. We need to uh, calculate oil formation volume factor at any point of the pressure and uh, our Excel sheet here. We don't have that. We have special points of the pressure. That's what we created, uh, uh, created from uh, BVT uh, uh, report. So uh, you need to calculate uh, the oil formation volume factor and uh, 
gas or ratio and gas formation volume factor uh, for each uh, pressure points here. And uh, actually, I uh, uh, export that from oh, uh, embed software. So you can do that after improving your model. Uh, you must uh, do that, uh, complete your model, then you can go to BVT. And sorry, uh, you can go to here in graphical. And uh, from output, you can see here the result. Uh, here the time, tank pressure. Uh, this is the factors uh, we calculated in material balance to develop a straight line method. Here we have epsilon O, epsilon G. Uh, and here the oil formation volume factor estimated at each point. You can uh, find this here oil formation volume factor and uh, gas formation volume factor and also solution gas drive it's here yeah you can uh, report this file and save it in your desktop save because we need it here to create this one. So now you can uh, open this text format and by copy all of this uh, data and uh, go to Excel sheet and paste it there. Then you can uh, just only we need oil permission value factor and you can uh, copy it here again to create this form. Uh, this form I created here to help us to make a calculation here, then we will generate these drive mechanisms. I will explain that. And uh, we have uh, cumulative oil and cumulative gas and cumulative water. In this, uh, in this calculation, we need to produce a GUR. What the mean of a producer GUR? It's uh, called RP. It's here in material balance. This is the RP, uh, it's a cumulative produced uh, GUR. Okay, and uh, uh, here we will uh, the material balance uh, more developed and uh, rearranged by use uh, two phase. When you have the uh, two phase oil and gas, you, you can use this equation that's for oil and that's for gas. So uh, we arrange this uh, the material balance equation. Uh, by changing uh, to uh, from beta oil or uh, beta total that's mean oil and gas so if you have a gas cap and you can use this equation also if you have just only oil reservoir you can use this uh, and uh, this number will be the same as this because when you have uh, if your reservoir is above bubble point rs initial minus rs will be constant to, so this theorem will be uh, cancelled will be zero so it will be the same as uh, oil <coughs> formation volume factor okay and uh, this is the material balance calculation uh, and we we have else uh, another data uh, yes, produce a GUR, we means it's a cumulative gas divided by cumulative oil. I calculated here. Uh, when you divide the cumulative gas, uh, when we divide cumulative gas by cumulative oil, it will give us uh, produced a GUR. And we can note here, produce a GUR, the same as the solution gas drive. That's mean our reservoir was no big difference between these two values. That's mean our reservoir is above bubble point. Uh, in case we produce the GUR above the solution gas drive, that mean the uh, cumulative gas production will be high. That, that's an indication about we have a gas uh, cap. But uh, in our reservoir is above bubble point, so we need uh, this for this calculation. And uh, about water influx, I also uh, exported from Impel software after improving my model depends on Vetkovic model. I hope you improve your uh, aquifer model after uh, matching the analytical and estimate the original oil in place and after run simulation and compare. Uh, and if you need, uh, need to learn all these steps, you can uh, watch our lectures uh, in reservoir modeling course.
we apply that step by step. Uh, so here, uh, all the data uh, I need here is available. So I will uh, start what I will do right now. I need to see, this is the, as I said, the material balance equation and all the, these uh, analytical, graphical and uh, energy plot comes from this equation. So the question is how the drive mechanisms uh, comes from this general equation. After we arrange the material balance, uh, the material balance equation uh, can be arranged like this, the same equation uh, for this. Uh, it's a mathematical uh, process you can apply. Uh, you will get uh, this uh, drive mechanisms for each one and I will explain that. Uh, a here, uh, it means all the production of oil and gas, the same, uh, this uh, theorem, okay, and uh, uh, for this theorem, this N, we can see here N, that means the original oil place, it's the same here and here, and for each uh, theorem, uh, depletion drive mechanisms, that means uh, that we can uh, define this, the depletion drive mechanisms, it's uh, one of the drivers uh, it comes from uh, reservoir rock achieved by expansion of the original volume with, uh, with all the gas uh, dissolved. So uh, this theorem depletion drive means the change in the volume of oil and dissolved gas. So as I explained uh, for the first rock and uh, liquid expansion, uh, after the change in the pressure, uh, we have a change in uh, fluid, uh, expansion in the fluid and also in the gas. So this theorem by uh, uh, beta T or beta oil uh, minus beta T initial it give us the change in the uh, volume of oil. And this is uh, the first theorem multiplied by uh, original oil place. So in the analysis drive mechanism and energy plot we need uh, the correct value of original oil place and that's what we estimated first here by analytical after achieving the analytical and the graphical we estimate so after we estimate the original oil place here it will be uh, immediately applied in this energy plot and that's what we need here we need the correct value of original oil place First, estimate analytical and graphical, then the right value you have, you can apply here to give you the good analysis in the drive mechanism. And uh, this data for, from BVT, and in here A means the oil production uh, multiplied by oil formation volume factor, plus this is the oil volume, and that's for gas, uh, gas production. So, and in the next theorem, if our reservoir is below bubble point, we have a gas cap. So a gas cap, we need a special theorem, it's called M. What's the mean of M? Uh, we can see here in our reservoir and our data in uh, input tank parameter. Here, the initial gas cap, it's the same as M. What's the mean of M? It's if uh, you have a gas cap, uh, so you need to uh, give a ratio of uh, how how the volume or how much volume of gas uh, uh, how you need to give the ratio of the gas volume uh, to oil volume but here because our reservoir is above bubble point so we don't have uh, any gas cap it will be equal to zero And also we need the original oil place and the same parameters we need here for gas cap. But in our case, we, we, we don't have gas cap, so this term will be cancelled. And the second one is water drive index or water drive mechanism. Uh, water drive mechanism, uh, here we have a water influx, uh, please here minus. Water influx, when we... Uh, Okay, this is theorem means to water and flux uh, and for production. When we uh, see here, that's, that's the drive mechanism, how it's, we can explain. We, when we subtract the, ent, uh, the, the water entered into the reservoir uh, by 
the production out we can see here this is the in in volume and that's out volume so the subtract between these two values give us the the water in in the reservoir so this is the water in the reservoir this is the drive mechanism this is the active water in the reservoir actually that at this at this point at any specific point that's what make uh, this drive works so uh, we need uh, the, the difference between out and in that give us the, the volume in in the reservoir okay i hope you get this point and that uh, refers to water drive and the last one is expansion drive uh, that's uh, mean uh, we can see here that we need the original oil and uh, this theorem it refers to uh, we can see here the rock and the fluid expansion uh, we can see here the initial water saturation uh, multiplied by rock compressibility and that theorem uh, will change with the uh, difference pressure so will give us uh, two rock and the fluid expansion okay uh, all uh, all of these uh, uh, when we sum all of these uh, terms it must be the equal to one all these drive mechanisms must be equal to one uh, that's very important uh, because uh, each each drive mechanism have uh, some percentage of or a fracture from the total production so for example when we produce one million stock tank barrel uh, of oil uh, that's uh, one million it's uh, it's uh, comes out of the reservoir from these drive mechanisms so if reservoir have uh, all of these and that that mean each each one each uh, drive mechanism have a percentage of uh, of uh, 1 million okay and now i will start my practice here in excel sheet Uh, first of all, I need to calculate uh, beta total uh, from this one, so I can see in my equation. But here I need some uh, data for complete here. We need rock and uh, water compressibilities. It's very important uh, because in my material balance here in our calculation we need this so I can see that in my rock compressibility and water compressibility <clears throat> and water saturation Origin of this 690 million stock tank part. Okay, I will write the first one. We have oil formation volume factor plus RS initial. It's constant in our reservoir because it's above purple. Minus the same value multiplied by we can see here it gives us the same value as oil formation volume factor uh, because here we don't have a gas cap if we have a gas cap uh, this value uh, will be changed rs after a time it will, must be decreased when the reservoir pressure is above the pole uh, when the reservoir pressure is uh, below bubble point so uh, the, here will be a different and that's referred to the gas I can practice all of these points. Yes. Uh, these zeros, uh, it's because here we don't have any data. Uh, it must be, and uh, I will uh, delete this later. And uh, I need A. What's the mean of A? 
A here refers to Oil. First one zero. Okay, first one that's all the zero. Uh, A refers to the production, production of oil and gas. So here I don't have any. I can practice for this one. Commutative oil multiply by. Here we don't have any value for beta t. And that's a big issue because uh, my values here must be equal uh, to one, and uh, this uh, this can be solved by uh, by what do you think? Uh, how can I find these values? And these values, we need oil formation volume factor to calculate beta total, and we need beta total for a. So if you, uh, as a practice here, if you don't have uh, beta t. You cannot practice right so one of the points here you can apply it's by uh, calculate the uh, the points of the pressure here it can help you to give the oil formation volume factor for uh, for each one so uh, you can calculate this pressure data by uh, apply normalization process we learned how can apply that when you apply the pressure normalization you can find all of these points and you can find the oil formation volume factor i practice that uh, without uh, any normalization uh, but i will uh, keep going uh, and that's what i need if you have if you ask me about this that's the answer so what will i do now here i will come to this one Finally, because I need just only the, the general uh, plot, uh, include all these data. So here I will apply A, and this equals all the data available. Data T. RB. Minus RS. Multiply by okay. yes. Then you can apply for it all these. This will be zero. Yeah. But okay, I calculate this. If you need all of these, as I said, you can start from the first point. And uh, here for uh, continue in our calculation, uh, the original oil place we need it here so that uh, after we improve our model in MBAS software, we can use this. So in the first one, it will be the same problem, but I will keep going equal, enter this value, it will be fixed. T minus initial one. Here we have uh, minus, uh, we need to delete all of these, and I will do that later. Uh, this is a wrong result, but uh, that's because we don't have the uh, data for beta t. Uh, this uh, theorem is for depletion drive. That's indication about uh, the, the expansion of uh, uh, the expansion of oil, the change volume of oil. And for the second theorem here, gas cap, actually we don't have a gas cap, so this theorem will be cancelled, 
and uh, I will go to the next. It's water influx minus uh, the production of water. Uh, this theorem. Or I can uh, for this. It's for the last one. It's for the expansion drive index. Uh, as I said, it's for rock and fluid expansion in the reservoir. That's what uh, we need here. So I will multiply number. So it should be also. Finally, we will see uh, the plot, how it looks like. Initial water saturation, all of these uh, numbers is fixed. water compressibility and that's uh, I need you to understand here uh, this term control this drive so if you get the wrong result for example for water saturation uh, or uh, water compressibility that mean the analysis of this drive rock and fluid expansion will be wrong so uh, that's the data rock compressibility uh, it's very important and we learn that if we don't have uh, the value of rock compressibility, uh, we can use the correlations. We have two correlations, Hill and uh, uh, Newman correlation. can use it for uh, limestone or dolomite. Sorry, limestone or uh, sandstone. Uh, these uh, correlations developed by these two men to help us to find the value of rock compressibility. So I will uh, keep going here. Water compressibility, then water compressibility. Here M, it's equal to zero because we don't have a gas cap. Uh, so this term will be cancelled. So I have this numbers. Uh, Plus rock compressibility. Then one minus initial water saturation. So we And uh, I need uh, the difference in the pressure data. Uh, this theorem I created here, it's uh, just only for uh, this data, multiply by this. And we need the uh, difference in the pressure between, between uh, so I will create another table here. Must be equal to pressure, initial pressure minus difference in pressure. Yeah, the first point is equal to zero. Uh, also, I need to delete all of this, so I will not do that now. Uh, then I would like to calculate another calculation by using this multiply by this. Okay. I will multiply by K 
here 10. Yeah, first uh, one is uh, no difference pressure, so no, still the production and started. So the last one we can see here, all of this. Okay. Uh, the last one is water and flux minus water protection. It's multiplied by uh, water formation volume factor, but it's equal here, assume it to be one. Water flux minus water protection. Zero, zero. So. This is the net water. Now we create all the tables here. Uh, we can see all the data we applicated. All the data we have here. Uh, so the next step is I will delete all of this to Okay, I uh, removed all the points here uh, to make uh, our calculation uh, good. So now I need to go to energy plot. It's final step to uh, create our plot. We reach to the point uh, where we can uh, divide uh, this theorem uh, by this theorem. So now I will apply this for uh, DDI, what's the mean of DDI? It's uh, depletion drive index uh, to create this calculation i will click equal to uh, this theorem the first one divided by a it, uh, in the first it's uh, i will not use it because it's zero for each uh, because we still uh, don't uh, start the production but in the next here uh, it's empty so i will start from here equal uh, theorem First term is S divided by A. We will uh, click that. Uh, this is for the first point. We can see here it's equal to 0 0.41. What's the mean of equal uh, when uh, convert this to as a percentage? It's about it means that this drive uh, about 40 percentage uh, of oil produced by this drive. I can apply all of this. We will see now what the results. I, I have the same problem as uh, for this unknown. Uh, I will delete it later, but I need to complete my work here. Uh, water drive, the second one is equal water drive divided by A, the same. Uh, yes, it's very low initially because we can see here the net water uh, volume in the reservoir is uh, low. Uh, and uh, we can see here now complete all the calculation for the second column water drive yes okay and for the last one it's rock and the fluid expansion uh, this theorem uh, as we explain it, divided by A. Let's see. Yes, it's very low. And 
Yes. Now I need to remove all of this. So first. Uh, now we have to check something is very important as uh, as I explained it here all these drive mechanisms all these drive indexes must be equal to one and uh, that sure uh, it's very important so now we can sum here create some mission to confirm uh, should be equal to one click this number and the second one and the third one uh, it must be equal to one here, so uh, I will change that to normal. No, yeah. Uh, for the first one, the summation of this uh, uh, three drive is 0.64. Uh, this is the, for the first one, and we can apply for all of this. So, uh, uh, for example, in this number, I have the, uh, okay, and uh, then I will apply that for all of these. Uh, we can see here uh, the drive indexes about uh, one point, for example, one point two here one. Uh, as we can see here, this is one and uh, one here and 1.3. It's uh, uh, no big, big change between 1.01 and 1 .01, uh, 0.83. So uh, it, it must be equal to one, but uh, it's no, no big change between here. The, the, the main uh, objective of this energy block is to show up the, 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 which, the, which the drive index uh, of these, it's uh, dominated in the reservoir. In the reservoir, for example, uh, does water influx? Does water influx due to uh, high volume of water uh, effect on uh, the drive mechanisms in the reservoir? And we can see that now by generate a plot by time. Uh, we need to see the time. For example, I will create two plots here to explain that more first i will add time with this drive index okay insert I use the same lot, I will need to change it. Okay. And for the second one, I will add Time on X. And Y. After uh, completing all the uh, plot, we will see the drive indexes on the same plot and also we will see uh, how many the percentage how many percentage of each drive and 
I will add the last one expansion. Yes, we can see here our plot here. Uh, we have three curves. Uh, we can see here before I complete my work this point is very very high and uh, maybe uh, it's a high uncertainty here uh, maybe I made some mistake so I need to remove this number to make our calculation uh, acceptable uh, this is at yes to uh, not that. Yes, this number is very high, so I need to delete it. Uh, that's uh, in, uh, in first points. Always we have uh, uncertainty in our data, so also this data must be uh, entertained. Yes, this uh, another point in uh, April. These two points will be deleted. One by one must be equal to one okay we can see here all the high data uh, maybe someone asked me uh, why uh, you remove that just only to to see our blood uh, close to uh, one and that's no big uh, change between this numbers okay i can accept that or just only uh, uh, change one here to see uh, more clear uh, we can see here three curves so i need to show and uh, uh, from this chart from this table from this uh, plot, we can uh, decide which uh, drive mechanism is uh, have high uh, effect in our reservoir. That's we can see here. It's a uh, water influx. It's very very high. Uh, we can see initially it's very low, then then increase it with the time. And uh, the uh, two another two drive mechanisms, for example, uh, rock and fluid expansion is very low. We can see here it's. Uh, from 1971 below uh, below 1.1 1. Uh, 1. and uh, the, the drive mechanisms the water drive and we analysis that and uh, we decide from our from reservoir modeling course we learned how can we uh, diagnostic the aquifer and uh, we uh, and uh, from that blood, it's Campbell blood, we decided we have a strong water influx, so that we can see here. And also for from Umbel software, we can see uh, the drive mechanism is affected more by water drive. Uh, and uh, that's uh, what I need to explain to you. And uh, that's the purpose of this lecture. I need uh, you to understand how uh, can create this uh, energy blood 
by using Excel sheet and learn uh, all these uh, mathematical equations, how can we apply it to use it to give us uh, more valuable uh, work to uh, energy plus and, uh, and there more about the material balance we can uh, learn that. So uh, all of this uh, care is affected by uh, reservoir parameter for example if you change the rock compressibility for example here uh, maybe I use 6 uh, we can see here uh, we can see here the effect of uh, rock compressibility is changes it's very high and that's uh, right because when, when you increase the rock compressibility and that's a very very important thing if you increase the rock compressibility uh, that increase in uh, drive mechanism the percentage of this drive and uh, also for water and for other properties uh, and the water influx here is uh, dominated in the reservoir uh, we can see here if we dr uh, draw a, a plot between time and uh, co cumulative water influx I calculated the water influx by my model here Vitkovic I will plot the time with water and flux to see uh, yes we can see here this is the water and flux it's very very high and when we compare these two sorry when uh, I compare uh, this plot with the drive uh, mechanisms, we can see here the high volume of water uh, influx, about uh, more than uh, uh, 30,000 uh, uh, million stock tank barrel as a cumulative at the end of uh, 2010. And that's uh, a high of water influx uh, effect on the reservoir and increase the drive indexes. I reached now to the end of this lecture. I hope you uh, enjoy learning with this lecture and I need you to practice that to understand how can apply this uh, equations from our material balance. Uh, and uh, I hope this lecture can help you so much with your study. Maybe you can use this in your Excel sheet as a project for material balance. Uh, if you don't have uh, embed software or if you need to understand how this uh, blood created uh, from Ambal and you can use it in the material balance. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, soon we will uh, launch uh, the next free online course in uh, our website. And uh, finally, I would like to thank you so much for joining us. And, uh, I hope this lecture can help uh, all the students and uh, petroleum engineers to understand more about Ambal software and uh, how can analysis the data and understand more and more. And again, our objective of uh, Petro software is not just only teach you how to use the software, but to understand more about these tools, how it works. Because if you uh, work with another different data, you have to find the creative solution to solve your problem. Uh, maybe you have another different data, so uh, please go deeper and uh, as I said in the introduction you have to ask why always ask why and uh, how and when these uh, important questions uh, help you to open your mind and understand more thank you so much uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel on YouTube and uh, you can join to our different platforms uh, see you soon